Again. How do you think that compares to the um, blue sea at Nassau? <laughs> There's our own version of Slinky Dog. Lee's made a friend. That's what you get when you tickle a... Oh, oh, the cat's, gonna, the cat's getting the cream. It is a bit breezier out back. Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Just had coffee as you saw there and as you saw when I pulled the blinds up this morning it's a lot better day than it was in the last vlog. I'll just show you out, out front or out the side should I say. Look at that beautiful sunshine. It is very very windy though. So the storm came last night. I don't know what it was called. Do you? Dudley. Storm Dudley. And um, the... Eunice is coming. Eunice. Eh? No. Eunice. It's, oh, beginning with an E. I'm going to say it's got to be E next, isn't it? This is what our patio furniture looks like after Storm Dudley. Um, so who knows what it's going to look like after Storm Eunice. I think it's Eunice. Um, which is due tomorrow at 90 miles per hour winds. It was very windy last night when we were in bed. The walls were creaking. But um, I'm used to a windy lodge. Wouldn't it been about? Mm. It's got very much wind. Right. So, talking of beautiful things. Here's my beautiful husband. You got stomach ache. You've got things on your on your sleeve and all. It's dust from washer. Fluff. Um my eyes are still very um Yeah. I can actually feel the graveliness with the little pits. Mm. Like it's burnt the skin, but it's mm. still swollen on this eye and still quite red. It doesn't hurt at all. But... The things we do for beauty as we're getting older. <laughs> as I said I'd show you this the other day, I did kind of show you it. Um <clears throat> well I forgot when I was editing and I uh, so this is what I'm spraying on my hair. Um, topical finasteride and um, topical minoxidil. And I'm also getting some oral minoxidil tablets to take in the hope of thickening my hair up. So you get oral? Well, yeah, gotta get it from somewhere, aren't I? Mm. Uh, we are gonna nip into town. We need a CEX, cause one of my old mobile phones, I'm just gonna drop it off and get 50 quid for it, rather than it being in a drawer. And um, probably partake in some lunch, maybe. Is there anything that you'd like to do? It's very, very windy, so unfortunately outdoor activities are quite limited um, today. I don't know, because I haven't lost any weight today. So... So? <laughs> it's touch and go, isn't it? <laughs> well, I, haven't been, I so. would say let's go for a long walk or something, but it's absolutely wild. It it be, yeah. Well, we can walk around town. We'll have a big walk around town. Come on then. And then have a fish butty. Come on. Oh, oh. my back's hurting my gym. Not going again. Right, first stop, CEX. Very windy today. It's just bleeding stop because you started camera. Yeah. Good. I think what we'll do then is maybe go down to the beach just to see hey. how windy it I really is. Your trolley. Right, we've been to CEX. They are currently um, testing the phone, which uh, should pass with flying colours. And oh, here we yeah. are with our um, toaster that's come. Thank yeah, you. thank you very much. There we go, very nice. Showing a ham and cheese toasty and a mint tea while we wait for the phone to be tested. Now I think we should go down to the front. We'll have a walk to burn some calories off in the wind on the front. Oh, we are, we are. Yeah? Right, it's quite windy down here, so I hope you can hear me. I just wanted to show you this a little bit since the last time we came. They've now completed this little seating area today, in Bridlington. Obviously, nobody say it because it's wild wind. Um, so we're just going to go down, look at the. Uh, See, it's not choppy. Though. See, eh? It's not choppy. There's no like breaking surf. I'm sure even, there will be. Even on the sand, look here, look. There's hardly any, any waves. It is quite a calm sea. When was the last time the we saw? Coming from inland, this way. That's why. Where was the last time we saw the sea? Apart from when we were flying over uh, it. It was when we got off the ship. Uh. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And just think, right, if you got in this water, you could go back to that exact same spot without going yeah. on land again. How do you think that compares to the um, blue sea at Nassau? That's beautiful. <laughs> There's our own version of Slinky Dog. That's our local version. Don't go quite as fast, though. It's not quite as thrilling, is it? 
Yeah. And there's uh, our own uh, local version of like the Icon Orlando 360. It actually looks rusty, but it's not. That's just no, the, that's uh, the um, Peely paint stickers. That's that the kind design. Of come off. We've never actually seen it once going round though in all the years we've lived here. To be fair, Ed, you won't get me on it for loving the money. Here's our local version of um, Universal and Disney Crazy Golf. <laughs> North <laughs> Marine Putting Greens and Crazy Golf. Let's go have a look what it looks like. But Where it is it? But it shouldn't. Eh? Ah. Oh. Where? Ah. Oh. Well, there, this is it. Okay, scrap that bit. Look at the crocuses coming out. What? Little crocuses. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's there, I think. Ah, oh, crazy down. golf down there. Oh, let's yeah. go on back and have a look I'm at it then. There we go. Looks very exciting. Definitely crazy. <laughs> I think they've actually um, shut it all down for the for the season. We are obviously joking. We do like where we live, and that's why we choose to live around here. Yeah, but the one that's on the front in the pirate house. Yeah, that. Oh house, yeah, that's inside. That's crazy golf. We could do that sometime. What are we doing now? Well, we might. I'm gonna have a look at that actually. Oh, actually. Yeah, it's out of season, unfortunately, at the moment. Oh, that was the adventure golf Treasure Island. 10 hold adventure golf it's closed for the season might be open at weekends maybe but at the moment it's closed and that's the haunted house that we usually go in yeah. sea salt on them this place is open though for hot dogs right i'm not sure whether you'll be able to hear me for the wind because it's really picked up now lee's just got to spend a penny it's been a while since he's spent one of them um we've just been sat talking to our friend sadie who works in it oh shit the wind's so strong here hold on yeah, we've just been sat talking to our friend Sadie who works in her hairdressers in, in Bridlington. Just catching up on uh, Florida and what, was it, what it was like for us and stuff like that. So we're going to head back to the car and then down to the lodge because I think this storm is going to start blowing in soon. The sky's still blue but the clouds on the land side are starting to blow in fast now. Right, we're back in the car. It's lovely and warm now. We're almost back at the lodge. But I've just said to Lee, because it's out of season, some of the facilities on the park aren't open at the minute. So the coffee lounge is not open today. So I've just said... To why don't we just go down to like one of the local towns and go to a coffee bar down there? It's actually a wine bar, but um, they, do they, do, they do do coffee. coffee so I've just checked Google, they are open, so we're going to head straight there. Right, we're here, Lucian's. Right, I wonder if our table's free. Normally we sit in the window where the window's open, but um, not today. Well, actually, we can sit there. Perfect. Coffees have arrived. <laughs> yes, yours looks like a very yeah. orange coffee. Mine's a special blend. Mm. This is the first blue moon that I've had since we've left America, actually. Well, yeah, so. So, I'm, having a lot of I'm missing one. Oh, let me have half of it. Yeah. Lee's made a friend. That's what you get when you tickle up. Oh, oh. The cat's, gonna, the cat's getting the cream. <laughs> Literally, the cat's getting the cream. I'm afraid it smelt it now. You've no chance. He's having that now. You think it might want a bit of the foam on my blue moon? Where do you think you are? Florida, having two blue moons. Why? Why? <laughs> um, I'm having a lime and soda after my coffee. Um, 239 calories in that. Yeah. That's 500. It's just short of 500 calories mm -hmm. for two. Friggin' hell. Which is fine. Could have had a meal for that. I'm having, I'm having a salad. I'm having a, a stir fry for tea. Yeah. So and I'm just. just a few rosemary crackers from a dip from a pudding. I'm sat oh, here doing my work way. on my mobile phone. Just enjoying this actually. I've been doing some work actually. It's a while later. We're back at the lodge. I'm watching the end of Eternals. It's really, really good. It takes ages to get going in my part. We're a bit meh, but it's got really good now. It's, I've still got 38 minutes to go. Um, Richard, Richard, um, Madden, Madden still, got, still got his clothes on, so it can't be that good. It's a really, really good film. It's on Disney Plus, um, so it's good. And it's part of the Marvel universe, so they talk about Avengers and stuff like that. Um, whilst I've uh, just been watching them, that Nick's creating tonight's tea. Should I say he's opened the packet of Tonga and said, oh, that's a bit much. I've added some uh, Uncle Frank and some wicked Asian style barbecue sauce. Okay. And then some rice to go with it. Right, well, when. It's a beef based one tonight. And Tesco's coming between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock, so Ooh, we best not fall asleep. Exciting. exciting. Um, I'm not going to fall asleep, I've got a lot to do. Um, I've got two thumbnails to do. We got a £28 credit from Tesco because we haven't used the delivery saver while we were in America, so they give you the money back. Okay. It's usually seven, nine, nine months, but we haven't used it for like three, four months. So I'm going to have a nice bath tonight. Ooh. Um, it's a bit cold in it, chilly. It's kind of that bath kind of feeling. Waiting for uh, Eunice to turn up. Yeah, she's called Ernest. Ernest, Eunice. Ernest, Eunice, and, Eunice um, whatever. When I went to the hair doctor the other day, they recommended me I start using like a weekly um, hair mask. This isn't the one they recommended, but I, I thought I'd get one while I was out. 
Let's go back to cheaper. It's called Pan 10. It's got biotin in it, which is really good for hair. Strong and long, biotin and bamboo. Never used them before. I'm just gonna slap it on tonight when I'm in bath. Why don't you look at it? You look like Elder Ogden. Get tea made. And hurry up. I'm gonna do something now that we've not done since last year. At least mm -hmm. two to three months, in fact. Let me just straighten the camera. Well, we did it in Vlogmas, didn't we? Um, yeah, comments of the day dance. So we're gonna do some comments of the day. We've not done them, like I said, since last year. Um, I'll do some, Nick can do some if he likes. So, we're just having a cheeky gin, grapefruit, the one that Nick's mum got us for Christmas. <coughs> so these comments will be from obviously a while back. Um, currently that's going out is our Florida video still. And the last video that went out was a night at Universal Cabana Bay. So a lot of them will be about that. So, let's crack on. Um, KTS, hi KTS. Oh, you um, always comment on a lot of our videos. Or should I should say multiple times on our videos, so thank you very much. Oh, French vanilla latte in Tom Tim Horton in Canada. Coffee shops now in the UK, yes they are, we've not been to one yet. There's one near um, Ikea in Leeds, yeah. isn't there? Is the business. Um, French vanilla latte. Oh. Nick likes French vanilla. I, I like French vanilla and I like hazelnut. You say it's too sweet. I think it's a bit too sweet. I just like normal coffee to be fair. No, like normal, normal coffee is boring. With right, let me do the next one. Uh, Ray Burchell says, thanks for the review of Genie Plus. I have added it to my uh, to my ticket for later this year. Did not realise you cannot you cannot book your ride next to you use your first one. Though it works like the old fast pass when you can book two at once now. Unfortunately, you can't book them before you until you actually until the morning mm. of the day that you start. So from seven a.m. in the morning, then you can book it. You can't book them here if you're going on holiday like six months from now. As you six saw, weeks from now, it worked well for us in Magic Kingdom. Better than I thought it would work. And to be fair, if it was just me and Nick and we were booking a package holiday, obviously we don't book a package holiday because we've got annual passes. If I, if we were just back in a booking a package holiday, and it was an extra hundred pound each to add the Genie Plus on for the whole two weeks. I think I'd just go ahead and do it. We fair. would do, yeah. yeah. Um, Nicola Kiri says, I always seem to enjoy Universal content a bit more than Disney these days, so I'm super excited for your future trips if you do more stays. Now, our plans are to do more Universal. Um, obviously, we've done a lot of Disney. We love Disney. But we do, even though we've been to Universal quite a lot, we do still feel like we've not even scraped the surface of Universal, don't you? It had more appeal this time yeah. because... It was quieter. We kind of. It was quieter. We, we didn't fall out with Disney. No, no, no. But we still love Disney. We still love Disney. Things are a little different. It's, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's not the same anymore. Universal, it's still magical, but yeah. it's not the same. Universal was quieter. Um, Universal was like it was the last time we went to Universal mm -hmm. in January. Disney wasn't. The crowds were insane. You can get cheaper snacks that have more more food, i.e., quantity. Um, at Disney, you pay extortion prices and small but we all do it when we're in there anyway i'm not moaning it's just fact um and it was quite yeah you, everybody can moan about it but everybody buys it anyway yeah, well, exactly. disney know that so yeah. disney charge and we more. do as well um and also you don't have to bugger around with all the, the reservations if part you, reservations if you want to go to island adventure you just go to island adventure you don't have to think oh let me get a, a, a booking quad. If you want to ride, you queue up for it you don't yeah. fight about it with genie plus so what we want to do when we go back next time we want to really explore um, City Walk, and by explore I mean actually use some of the uh, restaurants and bars there. And Have a couple of nights in City Walk. Yeah, I think Maybe so. do a couple of hotels there, yeah. like we'll do Endless Summer. I'd like to do one of the budget resorts just to see how they compare, so yeah, yeah probably Endless Summer. Yeah. And then maybe do the next one up, maybe yeah. um, low specific, Yeah, and like do a full yeah. like. I'd like to eat and drink at Margaritaville, I'd like to... Well we drank there. Did we? Yeah. In Universal? Yeah. Where? Um, when we met, um... oh no, that was the, that was the hangar bar thing, wasn't it? Yeah, we that's played. Margarita Bar. Yeah, but actually in Margaritaville, right? Um, and the Jamaican bar down City Walk, and the oh yeah, the reggae one that we yeah, saw. You can have Mexican food there. Well. Oh yeah, I've Bob Marley one, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, hopefully next time I'm going to plan a lot more Universal stuff in. I do actually need to get a plan together for the next time we go. Um, we do have a date, by the way. You have two. You want to go? You want to go? have two dates. Actually, you go. You go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have two dates. One of them is a non-Disney trip, or potentially might have some Disney in it, but the focus of the trip is non-Disney trip, and the next one is going to be Disney. I want to read this one out by Stephen Robertson. He says, your exploring what's around the next corner videos are brilliant. Um, what does that mean? I, we don't know what we're, when we do new things, and I'll always say, 
we uh, never ever say that we're like Disney experts or Universal experts. People Every, expect us to be travel agents. We're we're learning it as we do yeah, it. We don't care. We, know, yeah. we don't care whether it's right or wrong information. You're just living it well, with no, us. Well, I do care if, if I'm getting information wrong. Well, if we get it wrong, but and we know about it. We'll a lot say of it, the but... stuff that we're doing is the first time that we've ever done it. So we just take the camera and take you guys along with it. Yeah. The battery's flashing, so I'm just going to change it. We're back, and we're back with a new battery. At least change so, the battery. Yes. Our Disney videos, as you know, unless it's something we really know really well uh, about us just mooching around we just and like around Disney ourselves. and Florida, enjoying ourselves, and if you want to come along with us, that's great. And, and Stephen Robertson also says, I also think you need to do like the Bazers and move to Orlando. Nah. It's not for us living there. Nah. We like, we like going, but we, yeah. we miss on. I think if Even you, this storm. If you lived there, you'd wake up and you'd be like, meh. Can't bother going to Disney today. <laughs> but if, <laughs> the Bazers did that for the first four weeks. Yeah, but if you, if you just holiday there. Living there and holidaying there are two separate things. Yeah, yeah. For, for, I imagine so, yeah. yeah. Andrew McFadden says this was the best, love watching every minute as we'll be at Sapphire Falls next year and you showed us everything we want to do. You guys are amazing. So, there you go. Uh, Blue what, moon at that bar. Whatever we showed you was helpful to Andrew McFadden, so um, you're welcome Andrew and thanks for watching. Blue moon with pineapple juice at that bar that we, Ooh, yeah. when we got off the boat. Yeah. Oh my god, a whole new blue moon. Iona Jasper says, we stayed at Cabana Bay, there is a very good shuttle service from the hotel to Universal. Um, we enjoyed our stay, looking forward to seeing your day at Volcano Bay, which will have already gone out by now. Nice to meet you at the airport, by the way. Um, on our way into Orlando on our very first day. Phoenix Holguin says, love the mid-century modern decor. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dix oh, was that the retro? Dixieland Farm says, Zest and VO5 are retro soap and shampoo from the 60s, <laughs> which fit in the theme well. Wait, wait a minute, I remember VO5, yeah, I, I was born in the VO5. 60s. I was born in the 80s and I remember VO5. You were born in the 80s. Oh, 70s, sorry, uh, late 70s. Um, it used to come in like a dark blue bottle with like green on the bottle, didn't it? VO5 in this country today. Don't anyway. you mean Vosine? Oh yeah, that's Vosine. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh, that was Vosine. Yeah. VL5 is still around now. Um, well, I can remember Vosine. Yeah, it used to smell really nice. Vosine, and, Vosine shampoo and Vimto um, biscuits, or Viscount biscuits. Not Vimto, it was Vimto juice, wasn't it? Yeah. And Viscount biscuits, or Viscount biscuits. I, love a, I used to, to call love them. a Viscount mint biscuit Ugh. dipped in tea. I hate anything mint. Um, John Starr says, love you two queens. Hi. And um, we'll do another one. Uh, Lloyd Thomas says, says Sorry, Lloyd Thomas says, so glad to see you're at Universal. Such a pity that you didn't get to see the Portofino Bay Hotel. That is our favourite hotel at Universal. Got to save some up for next time. And he says it is nicer than Disney's deluxe hotels and more reasonably priced. So... Do one more. Uh, do one more. Uh, one more. Let me just... Let, do like a roulette. Just I'm scroll and, wait till and then stop, stop. Laura, <laughs> Laura Rooney Marsh says, love this, you stayed in the same block we did when we were there for Christmas. We loved the vibe at Cabana Bay and loved popping into Volcano Bay to break up the day, which was definitely needed with the crowds at Christmas. We used to walk across and get the water taxi sometimes, but the buses were so regular it was easy to get in and out of parks and city walk. So there. It was bloody cold walking back on a night. Well, that night for us, yeah. yeah. Um, It'll be different when we go back though, and we, we, I mean, we, don't, we haven't even got any kind of details of where we would stay or anything like that. It's kind of like, yeah, we're going back, but we don't know any details no, yet. Yeah. That'll be um, revealed later on. Yeah. So we're just currently watching Cocoon to remind us of our Egg City breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very nice breakfast, that. If you're anywhere in the area, check it out for breakfast. It was nice. It's on Google if you want to watch the it. The staff were great, um, the food was brilliant, and it was extremely reasonably priced. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to go in the bath soon. Put my, uh, hair, but, put my hair mask on. Well, Tesco will be knocking soon. I'm sure you can um, cope with two bags from Tesco. Well, I'm going back first then. Go on then, get it now. And a bit later on, we have, um, if you remember last year when we were at the apartment, um, I got an app, a colouring app, uh, for stress relief. I've got another one which is, oh my god, it's absolutely amazing. It's actually one of the only things that I've ever paid for on the Google Play Store without using my uh, Google Reward credits. And I got it for 11 99 for the year and I'm going to show you what it's like a little bit later on. But it's just, oh, well Hannah's bought it as well, haven't she? Mm. It's just amazing. And you'll see why I want to show you it in a bit. Thank goodness. There you go. I'm in the mood for a snack. It is freezing out there. Well, it wasn't so bad because Tesco came straight to the door. So glad. 
that it came to dark. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it came to dark. Let's have a look at this. A new three piece oven tray set. Five pounds for that. Yeah, because we three. did need it because ours look like they've been dragged over the garden a few times. Um, oh, it's nice and warm in here. Right. Right. You Let's get, get some sauce. stuff out and have a look. Right, it's all out. I'm really enjoying these at the moment. Uh, Nikki told us about these, what he was having on his diet. It does that much. Get a lot. Yeah, they're quite pricey actually, uh, but I really like them. Fiber One protein bars. Um, we've got some lots of corny things to be good calorie wise. We're gonna have to freeze these, I'm afraid. Can we have another one tomorrow night? No, because we ordered four salads. Okay. Oh, uh, no. What have I ordered what? them for? What is it? Pears. Pears without the cheese for a pear and walnut salad. We'll just have it on. Oh, wait a minute, we've got some cheese and we've got some walnuts, so we're fine. What's these? High protein, less sugar yogurts. I think I might have one of them now, I'm really hungry. Um, so, corn meatballs, corn fillets have with some salads, total yoghurt, um, marmite rice cakes which are very nice, peanut butter, crackers, Can't get these in. super smooth porridge which is like Tesco's ready bread. Right then, I'm gonna have a snack. Can you get me the um, flatbread please for the freezer? There you go. Thanks. Having a protein bar, having a bedtime cup of tea, some bre a bedtime brew, EDB um, fire on the background um, and I am reading this Mrs. Hinge. Now, I said bef previously before, I didn't have a clue about Mrs. Hinge, who she was, or I knew she was into cleaning, but knew nothing about her. Uh, and then my mum bought me this book and I'm actually really enjoying it. It's good. So, before Nick totters off to bed while I'm reading, he's going to show you this app that he was talking about. It's basically a 3D colouring app. But it's got, it's like, it's made for stress relief and sleep and calm and things like that. Mm. So each time you do one, it's, it's narrated. Of scent, skincare and makeup. So a guy is talking about this and like then he tells you what to colour. Voice. So um, let me skip all this babble and then I'll come to the colouring bit. Okay. Right. Ready to right. colour. It says, colour the boutique sign. Yeah. So where's the boutique sign? Oh, it's there. So if you just touch. It's like... It has like a, I describe it as chocolate. It's like a chocolate feel where you tap and it kind of spreads like a bit of fire. Yeah. So what's it say now to do? Hold on. People have walked along the street where you're standing right now. He babbles a little bit and tells you what to do. And you do it, do it in stages. But, what's it called? Uh, it's called Luna. L-O-O-N-A. But it's very therapeutic and it also has spa sounds and things like that in it. So here we go. It Nick. says tap the pavement. So you can rotate it round and then you can colour like individual. Let sure me turn the sound up. Well, this isn't. Uh... Like you can tap the pavement and it's like, it's almost like fire yeah, that it's spreads. A bit like ASMR -y type thing. It's got a, it's got like a, a crackly, textury yeah. feel. It's got a feel good feel yeah. of soothing. It's very soothing. relaxing. I mean, let me just turn off the music if I can do it. I can't. And then uh, check it out. It's free. You get one free, don't you? Get you? One but then you've got to buy it. But yeah. when you install the app, if you want to buy it, it should be twenty nine ninety nine a year. Wait until you've installed the app, and then you'll get a notification, and it pops up and says a special offer to buy it. Mm. And then it says pay what you want, and there's a little slider, and I just slid it all the way down to eleven ninety nine. Well, I'm going to do, aren't I? Um, Eleven ninety nine for the entire. This isn't year. an ad. We'd just like to show you things. I um, saw it as an ad on Instagram actually, yeah. and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. Nick likes his soothing app, so um, we know a lot of people like that kind just of stuff. Sitting, just. <sighs> Off you go to bed. I'm reading. Okay. Good morning. It's the next day. Good morning. We're waiting for Eunice to turn up. She's running late. Uh, apparently, she's dawdling down south. We've still got sunny blue skies here which we find a bit unusual. A um, little bit of wind, but not much. And we've had a bit of rain overnight, so. You'll know by now, obviously, but I hope you all kept safe. Down yes. I think, I think down in Cornwall's getting it a little bit bad. We've looked on some of the webcams down at Newquay Harbour and it's proper sloshing, isn't it? So we're gonna go out for a walk uh, before it all starts here. It's forecast to be here between 10 and 3 p.m. It's now 12 and literally you could go out fishing and have a picnic. It's I've that got nice. parcels to pick up for my hair. Uh, today I have got some shampoo they recommended. And my Bath and Body Works UK plugins turned up as well. Some vitamins that they recommended, and then later on today my oral minoxidil will arrive. So I've got to start taking that. So you're having oral later. That's right. Right, we're down on the beach. The uh, the oil tankers are a lot closer to shore. All of them all the way down. They're usually about a mile out. 
and the sun is shining over the coast up there. It was sunny here about 10 minutes ago and it's pitter pattering a bit of rain so I don't know how long we've got here before the storm comes. The rain is starting and it's very cold. I'm just going to go out for a bit, a bit further towards that sea and then head back. Fingers crossed hopefully before the rain proper starts. the rain we found the golf club so we've come in and we've ordered breakfast and despite Liam saying he's not hungry um, eggs lots of protein keeps you full <laughs> you can justify all you like you said you weren't hungry but yet yeah, you're eating right I'm having this now I think that was the biggest meal I've had since we got back from Florida <laughs> either way we uh, feel a bit stuffed but I wanted to make some protein and um, wait a minute when we went in you said I'm having toast because I'm not hungry I know, but then and then when I ordered beans mine, on toast, I was like, ooh, actually. Yeah, and then you had one of my sausages. I'll just eat lighter tonight. Um, corn sausage, by the way. Very nice, that corn sausage. Very nice, those um, scrambled eggs. Now we're off back to the lodge. Nick has got to nip out for work, so <laughs> I'm going to do some more ironing. I'm still ironing all the Florida stuff. It'll only take me an hour. Oh, that's fine. I, I can watch a film or something while I iron. Not, not Cocoon 2. Ooh. Saving it for me. Right. We're in the lodge. We've been right. watch. We've, we've been watching Big Jet TV on the TV channel, like everybody else has. Uh... We want to go to Heathrow and start a YouTube channel. <laughs> no, I said it was just interesting to see all the planes coming down in the wind and. Um, on yeah, how um, talented the pilots are! It's amazing. Um, you can't really see much wind out here. It is quite windy, um, the is, but the trees out. We get the wind comes from the sea and heads across. Yeah. The now it's coming from that direction and it's going over the lodge, and because there's like a big woodland behind. The, the lodge is protected. Yeah. So all we're seeing is the other side of the lake is the, the water is literally sloshing onto the grass. We're protected here. The, the lodge isn't creaking or anything like no. that. So um, we are going to go out anyway. It's cozy. <laughs> I know, oh, but we're yeah. going to go out. I've got a couple of parcels that have been delivered. So uh, I, I'll drive and you go out and win. My coat's saturated. My hoodie's saturated from when we walked earlier. It is a bit breezier out back. Right, we've picked up as um, knickknacks. Um, I've actually got something to show you guys, uh, which I managed to get that allows us to order anything from Bath & Body Works, whether it's USA or UK, and use it here. We'll show you that when we get back to the lodge. So for now, we're just gonna drive to the seafront just to see if we can see, if we can see how bad the sea is, because the wind's really started to pick up here now. Even though it's actually blue sky everywhere, the trees are still bending over, and um, we're getting reports from back home that it's starting to get really blustery, so we always get it like an hour later. It, I mean, the trees definitely are the bending all now, yeah. Place, yeah. I mean, we're lucky because we're, we're, the lodge is protected this time. Normally, we, we get it front on, like I said. So we can see the sea in the distance, and it looks very choppy from when we went earlier, doesn't it? The boats are still there. So um, we'll be there in two minutes. Definitely a little bit more blustery than when we were here earlier, but the sea's quite... It's not choppy, and there's no waves. I mean, it looked bad when we were driving up. It must just be the direction of the wind. It's yeah, it's coming from behind us, straight forwards. So you can see the tanker up there. It's because it's not... It's not taking the sea and bringing it in against the wall, that's why it's pretty calm. But the tide's coming since we were down here earlier. And all the tankers, that, one's, that one just looks like um, like a cruise ship on its side. Let's go back for a cup of tea. Come on then, I'm freezing. Right, we're back in the lodge. And thank God we did, because as we approached, a tree blew down, blocked the entrance to the park. I thought a picture of it on screen. So, yeah, literally, the, the gates where we drive in, um, the big, like, iron security gates had blown off the hinges from the wind and a tree had fallen down straight behind it. There was literally a gap of about that much as we tried to get through. Um, so all the security guys are sorting it out now and the, the wind has really picked up. When we were driving back, the car was like blowing off the lane and then blowing back again. Um, we're having to drive really slowly. Branches hitting the side of the car. I've just started to go out and check if there's any dints. But will we go out again? No. God, it's like, it's like we were saying, oh, what storm, what storm? And even though it's still blue sky, it's still wild, isn't it? So we hope you've all stayed safe through this storm. Obviously, it's a while back. Just listen to a um, creative playlist on EDB Music Lounge. Oh, it won't focus. There we go. So if you can hold that, I'm going to show what we went for. Okay. Um, I, I was just saying to Nick, I'm glad I had those eggs earlier because I'm still completely full, stuffed from those eggs. So I got Nick to get some eggs when he went into the um, the Amazon lockup thing. 
Um, so we're going to have some for breakfast. Although uh, tomorrow, which will be in the next vlog, we're actually going out for breakfast. We are meeting our good friend Jade, who we've not seen for ages, um, for breakfast uh, in a local town. Right, Nick's going to show you what we got um, when we picked up one of the parcels. Right, so when we were in Bath and Body Works and I bought all these, I did a quick um, Google to find out whether you can get the machine, the, the wallflower machines for from Bath and Body Works for the UK With sockets. the UK plug. Da -da! So I found that on eBay. So I have no idea whether it actually works. Why would it not? So, because the screws, the screw adapter is backwards on it, isn't it? It's got a, a UK socket, but let's see. Uh, screws that way. Backwards. How much was that? Uh, 12 pound, 15 pound? From eBay. There we go, it seems to work. Perfect. Now I forgot what the smell like, so I've got to plug it in and try it now, make yeah. sure it works. What is it? What, what smell is it? What smell is it? Not keen on that one. What is it though? What are you buying? I don't know why I bought it. It's um, fresh and relaxing. <laughs> right, while we're riding out the storm, um, I've just gone and smelled my uh, Bath and Body Works down there. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It's called Into the Stars. Um, I'm just making some tea. Lee's not. Still. Why is there something wrong with it? I'm just looking at it. My tablet. I'm just making my tea. Three chicken corn fillets. Um, a packet of sweet, crisp side salad with um, adami beans, some um, blueberries, some raspberries and some balsamic and pesto sauce and then I'm going to chop the chicken up or the uh, the corn stuff up when it's done and then we have a zoom call pill chopper. I've never seen a pill chopper before. Me either. I just need a, a quarter of a tablet a day. Have a zoom call with our patrons on YouTube. Members. That's what I was trying to say before you interrupted me. Yeah. Seven o'clock so I need to stuff this. I might have a glass of wine actually. Well, uh, that's something you don't usually see at this time when I'm eating. Lee's obviously nanner in, so he's making some coffee. Well, decaf so hardly. Why don't you put normal in as well? No, I asked you and you said no. Oh. There we go. Tea ready. Chicken's been fried. Three of those little breasts. How many how many calories per breast was it? 44, I think. 44 calories per breast. I've had um, three breasts, so 120 odd calories. The rest is maybe 100 to 200. So a really healthy tea and it probably will fill me because corn has got quite a bit of protein in it. And then a glass of wine just to wash it down. Not sure if you can hear it or not, but the, the wind is howling. Um, we're currently just watching Cocoon 2 and um, we're just about to start our Zoom call. We've sent the link out, people are waiting in the lobby and um, we're just going to have a chit chat about probably Florida, whatever everybody wants to have a chit chat about. Um, and. Um, we're gonna get started, yeah? Yeah, we've got one person waiting. Let's I'll go. Get you push the link out. Yeah. Right, that's our Zoom call done. It's been a while since we've done one of them, isn't it? It was nice. It was a very enjoyable chat with everyone. Have you um, made the same? That looks like you've added a lot of um, chili jam on there. I have. Well, that's not calorific. Whatever. Have you put the uh, blueberries and raspberries on? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Just um, corn, salad, and some chili jam. What? I need a snack now. I'm hungry. Finished watching Cocoon 2. I absolutely loved it. I love the series. Do you know what I said to leave? When I... Um, you know the scene where the old guy from Batteries Not Included and Jessica Tandy. Tandy, she gets run over in a car accident and he transfers his life force to her to save her. And I said to Lee, I said I'd do that for you. What did you say? I said I'm not sure I'd want to. Cause Thanks. I'd be the one that will let her on, on my own. <laughs> so you'd rather me let you just cack it then, just so you won't be on your own? Well... Before their age, they were obviously at the end of their life anyway. Well, yeah, but all, you, all they needed to do was share their life force and then get on the spaceship and then they could rejuvenate. Let us know in the comments below if you've seen the Cocoon films, Cocoon 1 and Cocoon 2. I've got to say, Stephen Gutberg is Ooh. beautiful in it. In both of them. So the first good. one, it reveals a lot more than, um, his, than his chest, let's put it that way. Very tight shots. So, in the next they vlog, weren't tight. we are going to go, they were tight. They the, weren't, you could see everything. Well, a little bit loose. We are going to go and have breakfast, which is going to be tomorrow for us, with Jade, girl up north. Uh, we, Shy pig. We are having some breakfast with her. We'll meet her at 9am, which means I've got to be up at 7. We're meeting her in Beverly. So you best go and get... Has she booked a table? Yeah. 
at 9am. At Atissa. For 9am. The Instagram bar. So you'll see that on the next vlog. Yeah. So thanks for watching today, guys. You'll see guys. it just dropping like... <laughs> Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. And uh, we'll, she'll see, we'll she'll see you... She'll see you soon. ...with Jade in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.